Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video today. I'm gonna continue my bullying against the, uh, Fate Apocrypha, uh, raid bosses, this time using Quetz and going against Fran, which, depending on when you see this video, she's either dead already or close to dying. It kind of depends. I wanted to record this right now because I think next day's, um, raids on the schedule. Let me see. Uh, I believe that there won't be one where she'll have class advantage over, so I kind of wanted to do it while she had one and not wait till later on in the event. Um, let me see, just to be sure. Yeah, because after these are... Mm, oh, actually, there would have been cat. No, you know, maybe I'll do this again and this time beat up Shakespeare. I'll see how I feel about that. Uh, I'll, at this point, I'm making. I'm gonna try and make a video a day for each raid and see, because I very rarely get to use my single target units. Anyway, to go into it, here's the basic setup here. I don't have Merlin. If you're asking, where's Merlin? I can't afford Merlin in this economy. Yes, Quetz is one of my favorite units, and I don't have her Buster support. Sue me. I will have one whenever Tomovich comes out, and that's the only time. Um, but it's okay, because this is what she's rocking right now. She's level 100, 2,000 in attack and HP. She doesn't need it. She's bond level 10. She has that tree of us, which gives her 200% strength. Uh, I think the current, uh, Shakespeare buff also gives 50% to Buster, which is also why I wanted to do it on this day. Her skill charisma is at 10, wisdom of the benevolent god, which gives 50% to one Buster, whoever she gives it to, for, I think, three turns. Um... That's a 50% there. So if you want to add up, she's getting, in terms of buster buffs, she's getting a lot from there. Lucha Libre EX, which is going to be what gives her the NP gain to help her out a little bit. Not NP gain, she gets 30% NP from that. In terms of my actual buster support, here's Florence Nightingale. She's here for one reason, and it's because Angel's Cry gives 50% uh, buster up to one ally. And that's enough for me for three turns. She doesn't have any NP support at all, but to be fair, neither does Merlin. He only gives 20%, so it's negligible with a character like Quetz. Next, we have Bride Nero. She's here because she gives 30% <laughs> and a slight attack up. And then we have in the back there, Scotty, who gives 50% NP and some defense down. That is the only thing here. We're going to see how high the numbers can go. We're going to reach over a million, which is really funny to think about. I'm doing this without Merlin, but to be fair, with Merlin... Hmm. With, I think actually with, you could at most use one Merlin, it's just that I don't have to use Merlin, because I can't afford Merlin in this economy, to be fair. Actually, I just may have just done a miscalculation, I have to redo the video, I forgot that. Oh no, no, I'm fine. I'm stupid. No recalculation needed. There we go. I forget. There we go. Here. And she is getting a tiny, tiny attack up from the beginning skill here. Is this the fastest method? No. But it is the method that uses quits, which is why I'm doing it. Okay, let's see how much the number is going to go. I'm going to guess 1,300,000. That's my current guess. You need more height. I am the flame. <laughs> oh, I love you Quetz so much. I love her so much. Uh, this is one of my favorite units in the world. Uh, also, to be fair, I think I could also use Shakespeare as a support now that I think about it. Because he gives... Hmm, actually, can we make the numbers go higher? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. We can make the numbers go higher. On the fly switching. I think this works out. Let me check real quick. Is his little yeah, okay. Yes. This might act not actually work. I haven't tested it. If it doesn't work, I will pause and we'll come back and I'll level up uh, Shakespeare skills. Let me see, just to be sure. Okay, yes. This is gonna work. So he gives, I believe it's 50% for one turn. Uh, which is why I'm using him. Oh shit. Ah. Well now, I, I can continue on. She's not gonna deal as much damage, but I, I fucked up. My stupid big fat finger. Dumbass. I'm an absolute dumbass. We can at least see how she's gonna do here without that buff, but that buff really hurts. It's 50% less. But if anything, she should deal close to amount of the same damage. 
we'll see basically how much Nero's um, attack up buff was actually affecting things. We'll see right here. You need more height. Lift him in the air. I, I really like this uh, Noble Phantasm, by the way, because it's a, just basically a, yeah, it just didn't get enough damage on that. Fair enough. Um, I can't wait for when they do it again, because oh my god, can you imagine the close-up face as she pile-drives the enemy into the ground? Should be amazing. Alright, again. Let's do it again. Let's go one more time. If this doesn't work, I will switch back to the old system that I was having. Because maybe it turns out that, um... <clears throat> It was better the old way, funny enough, Shakespeare. Romeo! Romeo, me Romeo! Gumbachan. There we go, yeah. Go here. And then we will absolutely ass blast uh, Fran. And not in the way that is enjoyable. Actually, someone might take enjoyment out of getting suplexed by by uh, Quetz. I would. I think that'd be fun. All right, let's see. NP2. Imagine if she was NP5 for me, how much damage she would be doing. Let's see. Hmm. Funny enough, it's around the same. But to be fair, damage kind of varies in a lot of in a lot of ways in this game. It's actually kind of hmm. Is funky the right word? It's funny. Funny is the right word. Yeah, let's go funny. We'll do one more test and see if we can kind of keep it at that level. Let's see. Hmm. I like Shakespeare's voice. I think it's a very good voice. I'm a big fan of the man voice that he has. Not how I imagine William Shakespeare. <laughs> but I guess maybe if William Shakespeare was a voice by a Japanese man, that's how he- You need more height. I am the flame. Hmm, yeah, she's doing- Yeah, she's doing okay, but I think she was better with Bride Nero, funny enough. Alright, let's go back to Bride Nero. Maybe... I could have swore he was also a 50% up buff on Buster, but maybe I'm misremembering it. Or maybe just the way Quetz is, does her stuff, she just got super lucky with, um... Saiyan 1 would be in dun dun There she is. Okay. I should really, like, there's no reason for me to run this one. I should, I should, while I'm here, use this one. At the very least. sat out here with the the low CE. Funny enough, when I did do pulls, I was able to get Achilles and a lot of the 3 CE, but none of the other CEs. Usually it's the opposite for me. Kurosai! Some fantastic noises going on from these ladies. Actually, how do you use Sound Nightingale? Alright, alright. It's a pretty good voice. Much, much. She's uh, she's very understated compared to Quetz going, hey, and Nero going, imme, 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 imme. like she's very much like a hello Mario. <laughs> He's a very <laughs> calm, collected, very much like the hello Mario voice. It's all right. Let's see what we can get here. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Love Quetz. Love my girl. Look at her. Absolutely fucking fierce. Mm, not bad. I think that that's just gonna end up being the peak. Is the one the th that one million six hundred thousand something damage? It's a lot of damage. She did more. She's doing more than um, what uh, Saber Summer was doing for me last video, uh, last raid video. But to be fair, it's because she's getting a little bit more support to her arts compared to. Um, what she was getting. She was only getting 50% from the arts up. Like, she's getting m significantly more, especially with um, 
The Shakespeare? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's the Shakespeare buff? Oh, you know what it was? I bet you it was the Shakespeare buff that made me that way. So it must be random when I get it. Okay, that must be what had happened. I just realized now. If you made a comment about that, then know that I figured it out by the end of the video. I could have sworn I was always guaranteed to get that Shakespeare buff. But maybe I was wrong. I was wrong. I've been a fool. I've been an absolute moron. Maroon. Pure garbage boy. Yeah. That must be the difference maker for sure. Because I bet it will shield deal comparable damage of a million to hundred thousand something. Or maybe nine hundred thousand if I'm unlucky. Yeah, yeah, like around a million. Okay. Okay, okay. Makes a lot of sense then. I'm gonna try one more time and see if we can get that Shakespeare buff. Master. Mm. It's going yoing. That's my Nero impression. <laughs> it's going so going yoing. And ending my day. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's go with you. Like I said, I don't really need to do the other stuff. Like, I can handle that, no problem. I'm gonna be- there we go. Okay, let's see if- This is gonna be the final one with, um... With Shakespeare's- 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 Shakespeare? Shakespeare support. Let's see if she can get higher than previously. Probably under the right circumstances, I think I can make her break 2 million. I think it'd be possible. But I'd have to get so lucky with a lot of things. Because, like I said, damage varies about how much you can actually do if you're Noble Phantasm. Sometimes you deal more damage than you expect, and sometimes you don't. Mm. Alright, girl. And I'm gonna give you an extra chain, just to give for the extra luck. Alright, let's see what it was. Mm. Alright, very good. So yeah, I think that was the peak of what we could do. Not bad. Uh, but that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching us and watching me experiment and basically learn, oh, the Shakespeare buff is not always active. <laughs> I'm going to keep on grinding. You guys, I wish you guys good luck. I will return with more videos. If you have any specific requests for a unit, I have a bunch of units, but um, I will just do whichever one I feel happy about doing. How about that for now? Then I'll- oh, actually, I need to finish one of these quests. Have I not done this? Archer? Aren't one of these motherfuckers Archer? There you are. Beat him and defeat 15 Archer Rider class enemies. Excluding Servant. Pain in the ass. I will be back with another video. You guys have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!